Hi friends, Geraldine B here. Welcome or welcome back. You're clicking this video because you are intentional in saving and gaining that control back to yourself. And so if you haven't already, I would really love for you to subscribe so we can journey together about crafting that life that we really wanted. So as promised, I'm going to show you what happened to my no buy January 2023 challenge. And here it is. Are you excited? I did it. Good job, self. So actually crossed out every single day that I haven't bought anything non-essential for myself. And so today I'm going to walk you through each week, show you some video clips, what happened and lessons or other tricks that you may want to use if you want to do this challenge. And of course, if you haven't watched my first video about how I prepared, how, what strategies I used and my family used for this one, I would highly recommend you check that video in the description below, my No Buy January 2023 challenge. Now let's get into it. Well, of course, my first week, I didn't buy anything but uh, my multivitamins because I run out. Again, that one I considered an essential purchase. So it wasn't out of impulse as well. So I, it didn't disqualify me for this challenge. And so that's one of the lessons that I'm going to share with you to really qualify before you start with this challenge, qualify the, your stuff, your purchase into essential versus non-essentials and so this challenge only applies to non-essential purchase and then in my week two we actually went uh to the mall we every monday we drive our kids to a pre-teen service in our church and because we we're too early we went in the mall beside the church to wait there a bit and then guess what the cozy pants were on sale and probably if i wasn't on a challenge i would get one because they cost 20 bucks each but it was 50 percent off and i was reminded that my husband actually reminded me that hey you're in a no buy challenge and of course i have three cozy pants with me and i don't need those and so that's lesson number two is to verbalize or share that you are in a challenge with your family members, with your partners, with your children, with the person close to you, which is my sister. And so they can actually remind you that, hey, you're in a challenge and they can encourage you to keep on going. And of course, in the third week, actually, six-year-old daughter, she actually said, mom, I really want to spend the money. I got from Christmas and so I need to buy something from Claire's a $20 worth of toy um, and so again uh, if you watch my first video I started this we started this as a family and I told her hey Mia can you please uh, wait for next month or try to delay that purchase because we are in a no buy January challenge and then she said no and that's my money that's a gift from me but actually we had a conversation um in our house uh, before we went off to the mall and i tried to convince her but she's really persistent and which is the last next lesson that i'm going to share with you that show some grace uh, be lenient about it this challenge is uh, basically for myself to apply control over my spending but I don't want my children or the rest of the family members to have this impression that being a minimalist or having this um, mindful way of living is like a no fun kind of life and I don't want them to hate that kind of living so I said okay but even when we're in store we keep negotiating hey if you want we can delay this purchase and think about your purchase and only just within the the budget which is twenty dollars for for you and of course she was so happy and <laughs> she was able to buy uh, her toy i will let this challenge break that relationship i have for my children and also from with my husband and week four actually the final week which is very challenging there was a huge crazy 90 percent sale at plato's which is our favorite thrift store and actually my sister needed my husband to drive her there and so i was staying at home babysitting and my husband actually 
broke the challenge. Uh, he bought eight dollars worth of shirt for himself. And again, I reminded him, hey, we're in a challenge, but he's he bought something for himself. It was, and I was happy for him. I didn't like yell at him, like, hey, we're in a challenge. And we're not that kind of <laughs> uh, really crazy about this challenge. Uh, that's still part of the lesson that I've shared with you that show some grace, be lenient about it. And I think the last challenge happened when on Sunday it was like on the 29th, I guess, uh, my sister invited us to have lunch um, for my niece's birthday. So we went in the mall again. I was like, okay, we're inside the mall and something crazy happened whenever we stepped inside the mall. And I was checking on the body shop uh, for my favorite serum that I've been using for quite a while. It's a facial serum. And then my husband reminded me, hey, you're in a challenge. I was like, yeah, for sure. But I always have that habit of checking in if that product that I am currently using is on sale. So when I check, it wasn't on sale. But hey, if it was in sale, because sometimes you do it 50% or 30, 40% on sale, and I know that I'll be needing that product, then I don't care about a challenge. I would go and buy that because I know that I'll be using that in the next month or so. And that's another lesson that I want to share with you that this challenge is just our guide, but don't make this our bondage. Like, hey, I can't really buy it because I'm in a challenge. The most important thing is that we categorize essential and non-essentials, right? So uh, that uh, facial care is part of my essential routine for my skincare. And so I categorize that as an essential purchase. And then there's like a, a new store, I guess. I haven't seen that store before. I have seen this loose pants, like very comfy. And I was tempted to like buy and then just get rid of the pants that I have that um, maybe a little bit old, but I told myself, hey, this is non-essential. This is clearly non-essential. <laughs> so because of the challenge that I'm in, I was like, Eden, three more days to go, and then you will be free, and you will complete this no by January 2023 challenge. So I didn't buy that, which is good job self. Overall, it was a total fun experience for me. It has been our tradition to start a no by January challenge. Why January? Because we are all pumped. We're all in inspired of like making that new year's resolution like so january is a perfect start to have that not to mention that most people will tend to overspend and christmas holidays so it's a perfect detox or detoxifying ourselves from spending so january is a perfect month for that but hey if you want to start that with no by march no by april then do it it's perfect for every month, actually. Hey, I would really appreciate if you comment below and let me know. I know I have friends watching this video, but they're a little bit shy in commenting. There's no shame in getting involved about this simple living. And so if you're comfortable, go onto your YouTube channel and let me know if you started this challenge. It will also help me um, know if I am making value, making contents each week, and I really appreciate you being with me in this journey. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to take good care of yourself. Until my next one, thanks guys, bye.